بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد so inshallah we're going through the ma'mul bit tabi'iyah today so the shibhul jumla where it has a ma'mul bit tabi'iyah so yesterday we started the shibhul jumla and we went through the ma'mul the shibhul jumla they all ma'mul ma'mul bil asala ma'mul tabi'iyah and even I think this really supposed to be on the same level as this so the layers because it doesn't really add up so this should be we have the ma'mul and we have a khatima regarding the shibhul jumla Ma'mul bil asala, ma'mul bil tabi'iyah. We have marfu mansub, and I need to explain something here. And then ma'mul bil tabi'iyah. So, and now with Fani, the second time of shibul jumla is that shibul jumla which takes the slot via tabi'iyah. We didn't tab it before, and it's only one of them. Wahoo an takuna fi mauzi naatin. Nahu fi al Qurani ayatun lil nas. So what will happen here? We will say here that. The ayat is a is a nakira word, and the linnas is what the linnas is. Yeah. So the ayat on linnas is a nakira word, and when you have the linnas, when the when a shifu jumla is linked to a nakira word, it becomes a na in arab. So that's how the ma'aribun do the arab. So we say here there are signs for the people in the Quran. There are signs for the people in the Quran. Okay, this is how we will say, and we say in Arab, this becomes a na'. Okay, now, yesterday I mentioned and I said that there are only two slots. Okay, one is a marfu slot, and we give the marfu this, and we give the mansub slot. And we have ma'mud tabi'iyah. Now, the, what, what I've contradicted myself is that in the previous statements, in the, when we went through the previous harfun jar, for example, we said here, min, and it's majru, sometimes becomes mudhafun ilayhi ghayi sadi, sometimes the lamb becomes mudhafun ilayhi ghayi sadi. So we're making it mudhaf ilayhi ghayi sadi, you're not getting a majroor slot. So that's a problem. So, see the reason this is happening is, in A'rab, uh, for example here, if you say for example, if I say here, Ja'a ibnun lahu. Okay? In this scenario we say, ibnun, now see, there's two aspects to this. So when you look at A'rab, the books of A'rab says, it's a nakira word. The shibhu jumla is linked to this, so therefore it becomes a nat. That's how to do arab. But in meaning, what is it in meaning? What do you think this is in meaning? The lahu. What is it going to be? It's a mudafun ilayhi ghayi sadih. Meaning what? A son of his. Correct? A son of his. So the reason now we're getting a bit of like, is it is there majroor slot or not? It's because in Arab they count it as not. They don't look at the meaning. They say it's a not. And in terms of meaning, it's mudaf ilay ghaisari. So in theory, we could have a slot, and I'm, uh, we could have a slot and say, well, the the shibu jumla comes in three slots: marfu, mansub, and majroor. And the majroor is the uh, mudaf ilay ghaisari. But there is a lot. So there's more detail at this this harfun journey's explanation. But for now. Uh, have you understood this much? And I'll, I'll give you more explanation of why we're having these problems and why these, these, these issues are kind of overlapping and not all adding up in Kubra, the more, more the reason behind of this. But have you understood this? So you could say, that question that the brother raised was very good, that we did say they have mudaf ilayhi ghayi sadi, so we should have a mudaf ilayhi ghayi sadi, so I call it majroom ahallan. But in books of Arab, they do it as not. So are we sticking with what they're saying in the books and say it's, it's, it's not? The ghayi sadi, we look at the meaning. So in meaning is mudaf, mudaf ilayhi, in Arab it's not. So that's where we're getting an uh, uh, issue of fitting it together. So in books of Arab, it'll be not. Any, any kind of verse, that, any, any book, any Arab like this in the Quran, they will say it's not ghayi sadi. They will say it's not. Yes, of the hidden uh, istaqarra. In terms of meaning, though, it's what? In terms of the meaning, it's mulaf ilayh. Does everybody understand? Now, the Arab. So in the Arab, we will say here, the lamb is harfun jar, that part. And the shibhu jumla, we say the shibhu jumla is the maf'ul ghaisari of the istaqarrat. Yes? And that is mansub mahallan. Why is it mansub mahallan? Yeah, yeah, the shibhu jumla is mansub mahallan of the hidden verb. And then the mahzuf with the shibhu jumla becomes the na' of ayat. Yes? And again, you could have, if somebody wanted, you could say, well, this is mudafun ilayhi ghaisari. Because it has that meaning, uh, verses for the people. So it's like a. It has the verses of the people, signs of the people. Yeah? 
But in the books of Arab, they call it as a knot. But in terms of meaning, it's very similar to the mudaf, uh, to the mudaf ilay. Is that clear to everybody? Yes? Okay, subhanallah, wa bihamdi, 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 wa